What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Can B. And today, as you can see, I'm on the grill. Got my eight foot by seven foot with the smoke and run the top, you know? I got a really big catering job today, so I figured, hey, why not hop on the hop on YouTube and, you know, show y'all what we got going. So uh, we got uh, about to get the grill going. Just got my grill cleaned out. I'm about to load it up with charcoal and we're just gonna show y'all what we got going, man. Let's get it. It takes a certain type of woman to really catch my eye. I wanna vibe with your mind. We can take our time. Can't forget to mention now you got all my attention Now I got you in your feelings Now you on my team, we winning Can't stop, won't stop Gotta keep on going till I find your heart Whoa. about four bags of charcoal I start with. Some people probably use five or six, but I like a low and slow, you know? <laughs> low and slow. So I think today we gotta do like 10 slabs of ribs, 40 brats, 40 hot dogs, 40 burgers, uh, some uh, chicken wings, chicken legs, a little of this, a little of that, you know, that's three, I'm gonna throw one more in there for the GP, yeah man, it takes a real man to handle a grill like this. Alright, so we got the fourth bag in. About to throw this lighter fluid on here. So now what you wanna do is you wanna throw all your fluids on there. <laughs> like so. Yeah, man, we gotta really light this joint up, man. All right, I think we got enough there. Now we gonna go for our handy dandy backup. Right, here we go. With these hands, I make fire. Or you just want to wait until your coals get all lit up. Get it cleaned off with my old trusty dusty. Let's get all of yesterday off of here. Oh. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It's hard to talk with all this smoke, so 
Bear with me. So, so I have two. So now that I got the grill all cleaned off, we're gonna let it cool down. Right now it's at about 400 degrees. It's way too hot. Uh, we need to come down to about 250 to 300. Uh, we're gonna play with it and do like a, I ain't gonna tell you all, all my secrets. Look, you just gonna have to wait and see. <laughs> all right, so we got the grill at the temperature that we wanted. And uh, now we about to go ahead and get it loaded up. So we're gonna start with the ribs. We're gonna put them uh, skin side down on the smoke side. Sit it down. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you. Yep. See. You. Yep. What you about to say? Go ahead. You good? Come on. Okay. I got the uh, hot dogs and the burgers up there too. Bet we can save those for a minute. Okay. Yep. Oh yeah, we got we got Mark. You want to get on camera? Sure. We're catering for you today. So you want to tell me what's going on? So. Sure. 40th birthday, right? 39th. 39th. What's okay. going on? What's going on? Yeah. So, yeah, man. Uh, Mark said he's having a big party. And I got all this food, man. I, I remember you got this big grill, you know. So, come on over and, you know, come help me out. So, uh, and you know how I get down. All right, right. So, yeah, we got about okay, a lot of ribs, chicken, all kind of stuff today. So, yeah. Get it going. Now, the way I do my fire, like with this big grill, I put like, I fill half of it with charcoal. And then I have like a hot side and then a side that I could like smoke meat on to do like a slow cook. So I got like a direct heat side and then an indirect heat side. The way I do my ribs, I always put the ribs on the indirect heat and then I do them on direct heat at the end. Or sometimes I start with direct heat and then smoke. Just depends on how much how much time I got to kind of just you know fluctuate. But today I got plenty of time, so we just gonna smoke them the whole way. Got a lot of ribs. Oh 
way, it's going up. There we got the pork ribs. And he just brought me the beefies. Oh my. Yes, sir. Good beef ribs. Smoke. These are gonna be delicious. Show you what we got going so Got all the ribs on. I'm about to go to the other side. So we got a guy out here cutting grass right now. I'm about to hurry up and put the chicken on before he come back. Yeah. Ah. Ah, see ya.
guys, we got all our chicken on. Now we got room for, we still got room for the burgers. About to go ahead and load that up too. So what I have here is a simple apple cider vinegar and water mixture. Uh, what I use this for is to keep my food moisturized while it's grilling, um, as well as control the fire when I get big flames that I don't want to get too hot. I like to keep it cooled down, stay in control, let the fire know that I'm the daddy, you know? Let them know that I'm in control. All that good stuff. Joke are hot and ready like little Caesars. So it looks like the ribs are doing good so far. Got a flame up there, it needs to cool down. Just gonna wetten them up a little bit though. Make, see, the key to good barbecue is making sure it stay moist. Can't let it dry out, especially when you're cooking on high heat. Now I got my grill still a little hotter than what I anticipated, but I ain't no rookie, I know how to handle it. We just gone. Make sure we keep it closed as much as possible. Only open it when it's absolutely necessary to flip. Keep it moisturized. Keep your meat wet. That way it don't burn. Dry out. So yeah, that's that. All right, so all together, this is about a five hour process, maybe six. But uh, we're gonna slow it way down. But now that I got all the meat on there, I'm about to kick back and watch it. Make sure it ain't going too crazy. And I'll be back to show y'all what it look like when we get all done. All right? It's your boy Can B. We'll be back. All right, so I'm just about done grilling. I still got a few more items on here. I'm gonna show y'all what we got. Still finishing up these beef hot dogs, uh, the couple, a couple wings, and I still got the ribs in the back smoking. We're gonna let those go all forever so they get nice and tender. But yeah, we already got the chicken put up up here, the burgers, the rods, the legs and the thighs. Um, I'll show you everything when we wrap it up, but I just want to show you a little progress of what we got. The phone is not doing it no type of justice. Like I wish y'all could really see how tender these are about to be. Yes, sir. Look at that clip. Watch the flip, watch the flip. Come on, 
What in the world? Long and slow, baby. Look at the beef. Oh my God. You just take a little beef. You gotta be a little more patient. Oh man, they so tender though. Hopefully we're gonna try to get that bone to slide right up out of there. It's gonna be a little while longer when he's joking, so. We'll just keep it, keep it going, low and slow. Hey, how you doing? Oh no, you good? I'm just this B roll. I ain't gonna be. Yeah, this is gonna be. Yeah, I'm gonna be right here. Yeah, I'm gonna be So I'm just about wrapped up. Got a couple more slabs to finish and that's gonna be the end of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video off and hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure you comment if you got any barbecue questions, uh, any food questions in general, and then let me know if it's anything y'all wanna see me cook next. It's the life of Cam and Britt, we out.